Hey, welcome back guys. How are you guys doing? I want to share with you my self-care plan today. So let's get started. So I think I already did mention that my self-care plan just had three basic categories that I want to focus on. So it's physical, mental, and emotional. So I'm again, I'm not going to make it too elaborate. These three things work for me. So I chose these three and I drilled down in each category. First one, physical, very important. I will always have this as part of my self-care plan. These are things that I'm typically going to do that keep me strong and healthy and uh, happy pretty much. Um, also keeps my immune system in check, so I will always do these things. The first thing, of course, I have an exercise routine. In a previous video that I shared, I shared um, a detailed kind of rundown of what my exercise routine is. I will link it uh, in the card and below as well if you want to check that out. Okay, making Chinese, uh, I don't know if you want to call it soups or you know herbal soup or whatever, but I do make this um, to keep myself healthy. So there are a lot of ingredients, Chinese you know, herbal ingredients that kind of have specific functions for things. For example, goji berries are supposed to be good for your eyes. So I will typically boil a lot of these herbs. Um, some of them I do drink every day. Some of them I'll just do it periodically. Uh, depending on what I feel like. It is very easy to make. I usually just throw together all the herbs and boil it for maybe 30 minutes or so and then it's ready. So this is a really quick one. So I can pretty much keep this in my plan every, all the time as well. So it's a quick body check. So I'll just do a quick body check from head to toe. So it doesn't really matter. I'll, I can start from the head and I just kind of relax each part of the body. So first, you know, I'll start at the top. So maybe your eyebrows, if you find yourself like this, you know, if you're aware of it, then just make sure that you kind of relax it a little bit, especially your face. Sometimes you're just like, if your jaw is clenched, you know, obviously relax your jaw. Sleeping schedule. So I have a pretty regular sleeping schedule. I usually wake up right now. I'll wake up around 6.30. If I have no morning classes or if I don't have to work or anything, I may wake up maybe 7, 7.30, but it's usually around that, in that ballpark. Nighttime, I'll try to sleep no later than 11 o'clock. Usually I'm in bed by 10 and I really try to, you know, turn off the light and everything by 10.30. Um, so if you don't have a regular sleeping schedule, you may want to try that one out and see how it works for you. And of course, I've mentioned these uh, topics time and time again in some of our previous videos, meditation and breathing. So again, you can do this anytime, anywhere. If you aren't in the car waiting for your kids to come out from, you know, whatever they're taking class and you're waiting for them. Take that five minutes just to, you know, breathe and close your eye. If you have a dedicated chunk of time, even better, take that 10 minutes or half an hour and just literally dedicate that to, you know, maybe listen to meditative music, you know, look, um, look at a candle and do your meditation. Okay, and one thing I recently kind of added in um, is an Epsom salt soak. So I actually started doing it because my uh, physio told me that I can do it for swelling for my wrist. Um, I did mention that I had wrist injury and there was a bit of swelling still. So I, she told me to soak it in Epsom salt uh, for you know maybe 20 minutes uh, each day. And so I have been doing that and not only my wrist. So you can actually have a Epsom salt soak in your back. Uh, so that really relaxes you. It's you know something that you can do every now and then maybe not every day But you know whenever you want to you know do it and you know even better You can maybe uh, throw in you know, that lavender or you know those um, specialty salt soaks with a bit of you know smell in it That makes you relax. So that's something that I have added into my physical self-care category so I guess this is for a lot of people work uh, Work, you know stresses people out in general um, When I am off work, I will not think about work So I know that there are a lot of people who still keep thinking about it, you know after five o'clock They log off they're still thinking oh shoot, you know that meeting, you know that project I have to do that email I didn't write they just keep you know thinking about that in their head. I really try not to let that get to me. So even if there's something that happened during the day at work that I need to deal with, I will not think about it after I log off and I make it a conscious effort. If I find my mind, you know, drifting towards work, I will stop it right then and there. I won't let it happen. And I find that that really helps just to, because you really need that rest after work just to clear your mind and then you can start refreshed the next day. So I do not think about work after work. Okay, writing things down. I think this one is pretty helpful. So in any way that you can, whether it's an app and you write reminders in your phone, whether it is, you know, paper, pen and paper and you have a journal and you write things down. 
uh, I think it's very useful to kind of get that out of your head. There are so many things in our head at one time. I mean, it's really, really overwhelming. You could be thinking about work, kids, you know, um, anything, school, if you have school. So I think it's very important to just do that brain dump. And a fun side note, YouTube is a bit of my brain dump. There are a lot of things in my head and sometimes the YouTube videos that I have, you know, reflect some of the things that are in my head. And I think it's a great way to get, you know, it's, it's a creative way to get, to get things out of my head. And lastly, I should have mentioned this earlier, it is a little related to work. I always keep my inbox to zero. If I go in the next day to work or if I open up my personal email and there are 50 unread emails or 20 emails sitting there, then I get stressed out. I'm like, I don't know, were there 20 things that I was supposed to do and I didn't do? Or, you know, did I forget something? Like, it just stresses me out when I see a full inbox. But I find that it really helps me out. So I, emotion for, emotional for me, it's kind of like emotional needs. So I really try to build that by uh, making sure my emotions are in check. So my relationships, for example. So I'll make sure that I'm spending time with my family. You know, everyone's happy in my family. I'm doing things for them. You know, um, we're spending time together, having dinner maybe, something like that. Uh, another thing is if you have pets, they are, you know, great and they, they really want your attention as well. So if you have a pet, that is a way of keeping your emotions in check because pets uh, are known to kind of reduce stress, right? So always good to, you know, pet a dog or, or two. <laughs> uh, sometimes when I go for a walk in the park, there are plenty of dogs there, you know, getting their walks and it's, it's really, I don't know, it makes me happy just to see them so happy. Now, this is not possible right now, but eating at restaurants. I really like to actually eat at restaurants, especially checking out new ones. And I find it's a great way to kind of bond with your friends, to kind of, you know, chat over dinner, catch up on things and everything. But right now, unfortunately, we are under lockdown. Restaurants are not open. So this is not something that I can do right now. And lastly, for you, emotions, I think it is very important to release your emotion. Uh, a diary maybe, a journal, or talking to a close friend in any way, just get that out and I think that is an important part of your emotional well-being. So that's all I had. I really hope that this was useful for you. So if you were, ch um, so if you were tuned into my channel, I did kind of go through, you know, the first part about how to create a self-care plan. This video here, I kind of share what my self-care plan is, and I hope that it will give you some ideas as to what you can do to create your own. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.